My name is Sui Yen. Welcome to Stories in Art. Today I will be telling you a story inspired by an art piece found in National Gallery Singapore. Let's take a closer look at this artwork called Seascape. This is a woodcut print which can be found in DBS Singapore Gallery 2 and is made by six artists who wanted to capture the local scenes and essence of Southeast Asia. Traditional woodcut was made where an artist first draws a sketch on a piece of soft wood and then uses sharp tools to carve away the parts of the block that he or she does not want to be printed. One interesting fact about this artwork is that the six artists who sketched on this woodcut were each in charge of different sections of it and carved straight away without sketching or drawing beforehand. This shows that each artist was skilled and confident enough in this print-making technique. Now, what do you see in this woodcut print? Yes, I see the sand, the beach, the sea, and a boat. And the boat reminds me of a pirate boat and a story called the Pirates of Riau. Can you say Riau? It sounds like meow. So you say Riau, Pirates of Riau. Well, pirates are bad people, right? Yes, they rob from ships, they rob them of gold and precious jewels. Let's pretend for once to be mean pirates. I know all of you are good kids, but let's be a little bit naughty today. Let's be mean pirates. And you know pirates, they rob things, right? Let me show you what they rob. They rob jewels and they rob gold and they put them in a treasure chest like this. Mm. See the precious jewels and the gold. Yeah. And pirates, they have a song, a mean song. It goes like this. Yo ho ho and away we go. Finding treasure gives us pleasure. So I like you to do it with me. The words are yo ho ho and away we go. You repeat after me. Yo ho ho and away we go. Finding treasure gives us pleasure. You repeat. Finding treasure gives us pleasure. So we do it with the rowing of a boat. Yo ho ho and away we go. Finding treasure gives us pleasure. Yo ho ho and away we go. Finding treasure gives us pleasure. Well done. And we need to do it with a mean face. We go back to more than 200 years ago when Singapore was called Singapura. And Singapura was ruled by the Temenggong. Life was peaceful, except when pirates attacked. And right across the sea was an island called the island of Riau. And it was ruled by the Raja. Well, in between was a pirate boat. In that pirate boat was a chief pirate. And the chief pirate one day told all his pirates, I found out that the Raja's daughter, Princess Norma, is getting married. Ha ha ha! The bridegroom is Rahim, the chief minister's son. Well, I found out that the Raja is going to give him gold, precious jewels as a dowry. And right now, 
All these expensive things are on display at the palace. What do you say, my pirates? Let's all dress up and pretend to be traders. We'll go in and pretend to sell them things that they need for the grand wedding. And then rob them of the treasure. <laughs> Oh, all the pirates, they were all so happy that they sang Yo ho ho and the way we go Finding treasure is gives us pleasure Yo ho ho and the way we go Finding treasure gives us pleasure So very quickly, the pirates had to make their pirate boat into a trading boat Now their pirate boat was dirty So they cleaned it up to look like a trading boat and they put crates, empty crates to make it look like a real trading boat and of course they themselves pirates are normally very dirty looking so they clean themselves up to look like traders smart traders and then they sailed out two pirates were patrolling the beach marching up and down. The chief pirate, now dressed as a wealthy trader, he called out from his boat, Salama Pagi! Good morning! We are traders from Malacca. We have brought Kain Batik and Kain Songket for the bride and the royal household. Salama Datang! Welcome! Welcome! We have been expecting you. Please come ashore. Oh, the pirates, as soon as they got on shore, they took out their weapons and overpowered the guards. Then the chief pirate, he charged into the palace and surprised the Raja. He held a knife to his throat. All of you, put down your weapons or your Raja will die. Well, the people, the gods, all love their Raja. And so they put down their weapons and surrendered. Now, Princess Norma, she was in her room. She heard the commotion and she came out. <gasps> and the chief pirate saw how beautiful she was. The wedding celebration will continue because she will marry me, the new bridegroom. Princess Norma, she cried. She ran into her room. Leave her alone. When she comes to her senses, she'll want to marry me. The new Raja! <laughs> a fisherman witnessed everything. Quickly and quietly, he crept out of the palace to look for Rahim. When Rahim heard everything, he was ready to rush into the palace to console his princess and to save the Raja. But no, he needed help. Quickly, he jumped into his prahu, his boat, and sailed towards Singapore. When he got there, he told the Temengong everything and asked for help. The Temengong agreed, we must fight piracy together. So he called for the leaders of all his communities. The Chinese, the Indian, the Malay community leaders came together and they discussed and came out with a plan. The next morning, a Chinese junk left Singapore for Riau Island. On board were Rahim and 20 strong men, all good fighters. When they got near to the island, Rahim got onto a small boat and went ashore. He called out, Salama Pagi, 
May I speak with your Raja, please? The chief pirate saw him and replied, Who are you? What is your business here? Your Majesty, we are gold traders and that's our Chinese junk anchored out there. One of our men has unfortunately died and we would like to ask you for your permission to bury him on your island. We have a long journey to make. Well then, what do I get in return? We could give you a few of our gold bars. All right, tell all your men to come for the funeral here. My men will take care of your Chinese junk. And so it was agreed. Rahim rolled back and he brought along 10 strong men and a coffin. Now, how many were left on board? Yes, 10. These 10 other strong men, they hid themselves. The chief pirate at the same time told his pirates to secretly go on board to seize all the gold. And of course, the pirates rode towards the Chinese junk. When they went on board, they were surprised by the 10 strong men who fought bravely and disarmed the pirates, bound their hands and feet and locked them up. Meanwhile, Rahim and the other 10 strong men had arrived at the shore. Quickly, they took out swords from the empty coffin and surprised the chief pirate and then captured him. The Raja was released. Oh, he was so happy. This calls for celebration. All of you are invited to the grand wedding. Thank you for helping us. And so, Rahim and the beautiful Princess Norma were married and they lived happily ever after. Did you enjoy that story? Well, I have more stories to share with you, so stay tuned. For the next story I will share is about a fish that could grant you wishes.